There's a, a cowboy hat in that room. Can someone get it? Yeah, go grab a cowboy hat from downstairs. Oh, I have the f I have the fucking the Arby's hat. Yes, 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 yes. That one. Talk normal? <laughs> it's your show. It's my show. Okay. <laughs> no, you look like a fucking idiot wearing a fedora. Everyone's wearing cowboy hats. You're wearing. You chose the fedora. It's a, it's it's a great. We're all wearing cowboy hats. We're making a, a stupid beef sandwich, so we're obviously we're wearing cowboy hats and. Um, in the box of cowboy hats, there was um, a fedora and sound guy. He wasn't last to the party. And he picked the, the fedora. Classic sound guy, eh? Look at him, he looks like a DJ back there. He's a guy that literally, I bet he's, he has said on the ones and twos. Look, oh, DJ sound guy. What's your DJ name? I don't have one. Put him underneath, you put it underneath your chin. Like that, and then the hat on, yeah. I don't think this is right. No, watch out, that hat, okay, see? We gotta put that feather back. See, now you now you gotta take the fedora off. I was Trisha's grandfather, see? You, you gotta be nice to it, and you can't even be nice to it. See, no, fix it, no. Now we gotta put it away. See, can't have nice things. Sound guy ruined another thing. Howdy, everybody! Howdy, partner! What are you guys, are you guys putting your feet up? I'm the mayor, fuck face, McGillicuddy. You! All right, let's make ourselves a beef sandwich! A beef sandwich! Okay, well, look at what we got here, fellas! Should I do it like that? Today on Just a Dash, we're gonna be making my favorite sandwich of all time. It's inspired by rhymes with Garby's. <laughs> Making a beef and cheddar. Okay, we're making beef and cheddars on def d uh, just a dash, just a beef. On just a beef, we're making just we're making on just a beef, we're making beef and cheddars. Okay, thank you. And I just love love Garby's. It's my favorite. It's my favorite, favorite, favorite. It is my favorite fast food. And a lot of people hate on it. A lot of TV shows make fun of it. I'm so hungry I could eat at Arby's. Oh, oh my wow. God. But everyone, everyone hates on it so much. It's the bunt of a lot of jokes. Okay, it's, a, it's the butt bunt. Is it the bunt or the butt? The bunt? The bunt of a joke? The brunt? It's a brunt? A brunt. So it's the brunt of a joke. So it, I, it, it shouldn't be the brunt of a joke anymore, okay? We got yourself a prime rib here. We got a three bone prime rib. You got a bunch of buddies coming over. Got a lasso up, a bunch of livestock. Big day of la lassoing and, and grinding around, around, riding ponies and stuff. So what we got to do is we have to make a salt and pepper mixture. Central Texas barbecue style. Pepper, pepper, pepper. With just salt and pepper on the outside of the prime rib. And like a pe pepper steak and you get a little bit of a crust. So when we're lassoing tough, you gotta t t lasso hard. Ah, oh, fuck, that's so <laughs> stupid. <sighs> but just take a little bit of canola oil. Been a long day, hasn't it? It's been a long year. Well, put your feet up, kick your boots off, sit back and watch old Maddie in, cook a little beef and cheddar. We're gonna take our pepper and salt mixture, and we're gonna completely cover it. Grab yourself sarsaparilla. Little glass of ice, pour that sarsaparilla right over top of those little ice cubes. Let it nestle up, fizz up into your lips, cool you down. Maybe take your little neckerchief, pat off the brow. Just gotta kinda take all this salt and pepper, put this back in here. And now this is completely contaminated, so I'll just throw this all out. Thank you. My legs hurt. All right, it's going in the oven. Middle rack, 325. 
until the internal temperature is 115. It may seem low to you guys. It's a big piece of meat. You got a big old steer and you're looking at it in the face. That whole big piece of meat, once it gets to 115, and you're saying, hey, big steer, what are you doing? The whole thing's 115, it's gonna keep cooking. You're 115 feet away, but you're coming closer. If you want it to be 120, 125, even 130 and all red all the way through, you gotta take it out early and it's gonna carry over. Every step you take, you're getting closer. That's like cooking. Okay, this is too much. This is funny to anyone else. Someone call me? Yo. I was just calling to see if I had next Wednesday off. That's it. I just want to have Tuesday and Wednesday, like, chill. That's all. I, uh, uh, I'm filming right now, Lisa. I'm going to have to let you go, darling. All right. Talk soon. All right, babe. All right. Take care. All right. <sighs> How am I even, what am I supposed to do? You want a coffee? I think so. What am I doing? Oh, my God. I'm such an idiot. Oh, what a grand dance. Thank you. Cup of coffee. <laughs> Woo! The microwave didn't do a damn thing to this. <laughs> so let's go. We'll pack a bunch. Welcome to Just a Doodle. So we're going to make a cheese sauce. Little cheese sauce. Start with uh, cream. That's too much. It's milk. Okay, it's milk. Just enough. So just get a big old jar of chewiz and, and you scoop and you add that to the milk. <laughs> and you add two big scoops of the chewiz wise. Grab that yellow. <laughs> grab the cheese wise by the neck. You grab that cheese white by the neck and you scoop it up and you scoop it in. We're gonna heat that up. <laughs> I have to just start talking normal, I think. <laughs> oh. Try it wise. <laughs> Add yellow mustard. Take a little bit of milk, a little bit of yellow mustard, and a little bit of cheese whiz, and, 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 and warm it up together. Who loves mustard and milk more than me? Make sure there's a fly in it. Is there a fucking fly in it? What's that? Can you see that? Is that a fly or what is that? What is it? Is it a tick? What is that, a tick? That fly, that pesky old fucking bee, flying around. We don't want that. Might add a bit of flavor. Get out of here. We All right, and we're just gonna give this a stir. And the mustard is my secret to making good cheese sauce, I think. Skittle again! What did I, what did I say, skittle doodle? And it's whip, bam, boom, skittle doodle! We got whip, bam, boom, skittle, doodle, cheese sauce. Send a check. Cheese whiz, want me to do a video for you? Just buy this one. <laughs> Cooking ain't easy, but it's fun. Gotta stop. All right, so the cheese sauce is done. Ooh, yeah. Your nipples are hard. <laughs> yeah, because I'm screaming nonstop. Where? Let's kill her. Where is it? Whoa! I got it! Fuck. Did I not get it? I thought I caught it. I actually thought I got it. Fuck. I want to make a little bit of a horseradish sauce. Take some of the prepared horseradish. I'm going to hit some of the vinegar out of it. You want to dry. And now we're gonna add one tablespoon of sour cream and one tablespoon of mayo. Mm. That is beautiful. Maybe we could add some sweet barbecue sauce. Oh. We got sweet bar. Sweet. sweet. Look, 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 look. The flies over here on the spoon. Flies over here on the spoon. Right there. Do you see him? He's eating the cheese white. He's getting that sea whiz. He's getting that sea whiz over here. I'm gonna pull him up with my right. I'm gonna 
whip him up with my left. All right, on a one, on a two, on a three. Dang damn fetches. Oh golly, but check this out. This is cute. Here, you wanna see a Japanese beetle? This one got in the house. Mm-hmm. Look at this little son of a bitch. Where is it? Get it. That son of a gun. Thanks for the help, boys. Take I get my spurs going. I take my spurs, I dig them in hard. I wanna go fast. So, what do you Ooh, she look good. I wanna go fast. She look good, yeah. And I'm trotting down the road. Ooh, yeah. Critical moment! Get your saran wrap out! Made out of the scoops! Bombs! Bomb a horse! We're gonna wrap this up in saran wrap. Oh, fuck it. Okay, we're gonna wrap it up in saran wrap, okay? Load a scoop! Bombs! I'm on a horse! And I'm going around the town! Fuck it, time. Okay. Some old man used to say to me, What's the cooks in the fridge there, son? Ow! This is stupid. <laughs> this is stupid. This is the best show ever. That was good? Now we're just gonna let this rest for an hour. You're gonna buck a bronco like you never bucked a bronco before! You! Okay, my throat's starting to hurt. Ooh, can you go grab me four gel tabs? Fucking Advil from the right. thing? I feel a headache coming on. Oh. Guess what, we got something here. We got something here real nice. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the cling wrap. Morning. Morning. We're just gonna cut away on the cling wrap. Oof. That's one hell of a shiver there, kid. And we're just gonna open this up. What's under that hood? Oof. Oof. In all its glory, okay? In all its glory. I'm gonna take it off the bone first. We're gonna slice into it. Try slicing it right in the middle. Let's just, we're not gonna fake the funk. We're just gonna go right in. You shut your big bazoo over there! You think I'm undercooking the steak? Perfectly cooked. We're gonna slice this up and we're gonna make a little bit of a sandwich here, okay? We're gonna put this on its side. And we're gonna slice it as thin as we can. I hope I don't chew gravel today! Cooking up all this prime rib! We're gonna make a little bit of a ball here. That's one portion. That's that's a uh, that's a. Uh, you been out on the range all day? That prime rib makes three sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> so the prime rib makes about three cowboy sandwiches. Honestly, out of three bone prime rib, you could probably get good a good amount, like 16 sandwiches. So that was about 200 bucks. Hey Siri, what's 200 divided by 16? 200 divided by 16 is 12 and a half. Yee-hey. It's only 12 dollars. So you can have this sandwich for $12 cost. So that means in a restaurant, if this sandwich costs 12 bucks, not including the, that's just for the beef, let's say $3, okay? Now we're just doing uh, food cost. <laughs> First time ever on this show. So the bun's about, uh, let's say 25 cents. Let's say a, a can of Jazz Wes is about three, nine bucks, it's nine dollars, okay. So yeah, so, and then we times every, that's about six bucks, so then we times that. Horseradish, let's say a dollar, uh, a little spoon of sauce, let's say that's 25 cents. So this is gonna cost probably around 20 bucks, okay? The sandwich is about 20 bucks. Then when you go to a restaurant, that's times three, always, your food cost is three of cost. So this is a $60, that's a big YouTube clickbait. A $60 
This is a $6,000 piece of beef. So we got our cheese sauce. We got pooch of the old horseradish. Give you a kick it up. And then we got some beautiful Sam Jones sweet barbecue sauce. And there you have it. Beautiful prime rib beef and cheddar. This sandwich is from me to you, and you're welcome. And then you just eat it. It's really simple to eat. It's not like you have to dislocate your jaw or anything like that. It's simple. Should we take a bite? We can't wrestle this fellow to the ground and not wrap it up. <laughs> Get myself pumped up here. All right. I fucking got it. I caught it and then I let it go. And it's right up there. Fucking got it. If I didn't spend so much time yapping, I probably could have cooked something I was proud of. <laughs> nah, 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 y'all. Make sure you guys keep your sarsaparillas cold and your beans hot. Have a great day. Thank you. That's how you make a prime rib sandwich. Good luck. Hopefully you can YouTube a better show that teaches you how to cook a prime rib. Get into that comment section. Let me know how bad it was. Thank you. This is so stupid.